Today, I'll be extracting acetylsalicylic acid from Bayer aspirin. Acetylsalicylic acid is also known as ASA, and is typically used for minor pain, fever, headaches, inflammation, and to reduce risk of heart attacks. In this procedure, I use about 54 aspirin tablets, around 65 milliliters acetone, and around 200 milliliters of distilled water. First, I start by using a mortar and pestle to grind the tablets to a fine powder. Grinding the tablets to a fine powder allows acetone to more efficiently dissolve the ASA. Once ground finely, the powder is then added to a beaker alongside 65 milliliters of acetone and then stirred. The mortar and pestle was then also washed with some acetone and then added to the beaker. The solution is heated for a few minutes to dissolve as much ASA as possible. After a few minutes of heating, the solution was then gravity filtered to remove any insoluble fillers. The acetone filtrate was then boiled off until white precipitate was formed. The crude ASA is then recrystallized using about 200 milliliters of distilled water to further purify it. Seen here, the solution is a little cloudy, but it can be fixed by adding a little more water until the solution clears up. I chose not to add more water here because the beaker is already uncomfortably full. After a couple minutes at a boil, the solution was then removed from heat and then gravity filtered to remove any undissolved impurities. The solution was then cooled to room temperature, which allowed white needle like crystals to form on the top and bottom of the solution. Once at room temperature, the top of the beaker was uncovered with plastic wrap and put into the fridge for about an hour to squeeze out a little more ASA from the solution. Once chilled, the crystals were filtered and allowed to dry on the paper towel for a few hours. The final yield was about 12.214 grams, which correlates to a percent yield of about 69.6%. This yield is not great, but some of this can be racked up to the aspirin being a little old and me not adding more water during the recrystallization step. In the future, I plan to carry an acid hydrolysis on the ASA to get salicylic acid. I hope to then use the salicylic acid to synthesize fragrant molecules like methyl salicylate or benzyl salicylate. I have some interest in these compounds as methyl salicylate has a minty aroma and benzyl salicylate is reported to have a more floral aroma. I hope this procedure was useful and thank you for watching.